Now, the problem with therapy and the gift of therapy is that our promise of care, of unconditional positive regard, of safety, and especially of intimacy, stimulates the intense attachment longing and proximity seeking drive in our clients but also their fears and defensive responses and so oftentimes not only are we confused but so is the client who suddenly I am just remembering actually a, a client I saw for a consultation with her therapist and they had known each other distantly uh, as colleagues for many years and so she wasn't expecting to have such a strong reaction when she went to her first therapy appointment um, and uh, she said you know I sat down and suddenly I was hit by this wave of longing for her to care about me and intellectually I knew that she did and that's why she took me on but it was it was so intense it was so overwhelming and with it came this terror that instead I would be rejected so from the very very first therapy session she felt this profound sense that the source of safety was the source of threat and depending on how overwhelmed she was with these feelings sometimes she projected the responsibility onto the therapist she doesn't get me why doesn't she get me and at times she felt deeply ashamed and blamed herself now the threat right the, the internal sense of threat perceived by the client is going to be different depending on the client's attachment style or pattern. Now remember that the adult terms for attachment style are different from the child terms. Uh, the attachment researchers in their wisdom have one set of terms for child and the other for adults. So preoccupied attachment is the adult version of what researchers called insecure ambivalent attachment in childhood which describes a child who is anxiously preoccupied with the proximity of the parent and yet cannot ever feel deeply soothed there is always uh, an anxiety in adulthood preoccupied attachment also is accompanied by a sense of overwhelming feelings uh, and needing someone to help and also the not only the yearning for proximity but its partner separation anxiety and fear of abandonment and so in those clients there will be a fear of becoming independent of you heightened sensitivity to the possibility that what you're saying or or your body language is communicating rejection uh, impulses acted out in various ways to cling dismissing attachment is the adult term uh, for what's called insecure avoidant attachment in childhood describing the child who actually avoids interaction with the parent and instead is more preoccupied with toys and dismissing adults we see the opposite of the preoccupied adult our dismissing adult clients uh, when they do come to therapy have a great phobia of disclosure of affect, of relationship with us, of vulnerability, dependency, all of those are, uh, are distasteful, if not frightening. 
And then disorganized attachment, which is the attachment style that in study after study after study has been associated with child abuse, child maltreatment, which includes neglect. Um, disorganized attachment is characterized by the child and later the adult being on the horns of a dilemma. There is a tremendous yearning for proximity, for closeness, with an equally strong fight or flight response. And so those clients will experience us in some moments as too close, in other moments as too far. Um, and those are the clients who are often very, very, very hypervigilant and whose hypervigilance can lead to distortions or misinterpretations of what we say.